in the Belfry and we have a big Halloween haul we have to present to you all today. We do. Um, we might have to break this uh, video up into two parts so at least this is might be part one for now. Mm -hmm. um, got some coffee. So I want to start out with this item because we forgot it in our um, at-home haul. Yeah. I found it in my car. Um, you had so nicely packed it safely away which meant we forgot about it. Yeah. So. It's usually what happens. We got a little skeleton hand spoon rest. We have a good bit of them, but we don't really have a spooky one. Yeah, the other ones are kind of... They're just kind of more homey. And, yeah. And believe it or not, we are actually pretty homey people as well. Like, like we love... Our style is weird. <laughs> our style is very eclectic. Like, we love, like, normal looking stuff, but we also love Halloween stuff for obvious reasons. And it's a good mixture in here. Yeah. I just wanted to say that this is an item that we'll probably use all year just because it's kind of subtle. I know. I don't know. I think so because we also have, um, like, our, we have a couple oven mitts that are like Nightmare Before Christmas mm -hmm. and like just, yeah, kind of like that, that same vibe with like yeah. just a skeleton hand. Yep. But an oven mitt. So, yeah. anyway, I wanted to start with that because it's the only thing that we have from at home. Um, we have three different stores that we're kind of showing things from. Yeah, so, so it's, it's a big monster mash. Yeah. A big monster store mash of Pretty stuff. Pretty much. So do you want to start with the Marshall stuff and we can kind of share that stuff together? Yeah, we'll do that. So Kelly just kind of shows up sometimes with like stuff like, look what I got today. And so she did that with these things, but these are all plants, but this one has some bats on it. And so, definition of spooky cute, I would say. Mm -hmm. And then there's a second one that's more pink, but also orange. Mm -hmm. So these are all six ninety nine from Marshalls. Mm -hmm. And then a third one, a jack o' lantern, but it's not orange. It that is. one is my least favorite. I, I still like it. But I wish that this would like s like kind of like spread out. I feel like it would look better. But I cannot get it too. Like these, I can like move and it actually listens and responds to me. Not move. You know what I mean? Like it actually does what I tell it to do. Mm -hmm. That one will not. So just know that. Yeah, I, I still like this, but so, I know it's your least favorite. These are sitting on our um, little, what is that called? Windowsill at our sink. It's really cute actually. Yeah. And I love a fake plant because they'll never die. <laughs> They never die, and you don't have to feel responsible for their death if yeah, they do. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so <gasps> second thing, moving on to coffee mugs, but Kelly got these as well. Kelly's done a lot of the shopping. I mean, besides our last Halloween haul video, like I was actually there doing the shopping, but yeah, Kelly does a lot of the shopping. I am, I have a problem, so just keep going, so. <laughs> but this is Witch's Brew. And this is also from Marshall's. On the other side, it has a little uh, recipe. What is that the recipe for? What do you say? For the witch's brew. Oh, I thought it was for uh, cyanide. Or mm, something. No. It's, uh, it says like putrid pumpkin, mystery slime, teaspoon of cobwebs, two drops of bat squeaks, one rat tail, one eye of newt, and one dried spider. So, little story about this mug. I talked about it a little bit last video, just like the scalpers that are like insane in the store. I'm not gonna bore you because I know if you're watching this, you probably already know, but I'm not a huge Radon fan, but I do like specific things that she makes. This is by Radon. Can you grab the other thing? Yeah, because she, she has that very distinct handwriting. Mm -hmm. 
And I was about to comment on this and say that some Hocus Pocus stuff, obviously. Yeah, so I got these two, first of all, because the color purple is amazing. I love this color. And secondly, like this is just a really cute little cauldron mug and you can't go wrong with a to-go mug. I will say, um, at least Ray Dunn's stuff is like, it has a homemade feel to it. Mm -hmm. Like it's not perfect. I know, that's, that's what, what I like about it. That's what I like it. about it, yeah. Like, I don't know if you see this, but there's like a ginormous like mark. I'm not sure if that'll show up on the camera. Eh. If you go into Marshall's or Home Goods, you'd like, it, it definitely stands out. Yeah, but anyway. Some people, some people would probably be, be like, oh, that's ugly. And I started to share that like, there was probably, I don't know, 10, 12 of these mugs. And some girl just came in while I was there and just wiped the whole shelf of them clean. Same with all of those um, tumbler mugs. Like there was probably 20 of them, all different colors, all different sayings. I took one, she comes in, swipes the whole thing clean. So- Save some for us. We don't, we don't like those people. And then I'll do the last two. So I just want to show people right now the coffee I'm drinking, this is strong enough to wake the dead. Now pay attention to this skull right here, what it looks like, okay? I still lo love this mug, but I just have to point it out. Hmm, that looks pretty familiar, wouldn't you say? Definitely does. It's wonder... the same skull, but it's strong brew, and I like a strong brew. I wonder if it's the same company that made it. Look what's inside that mug, though. I wanted to share that. It's my car keys. Your though. car keys are here. I know, but... It's because you also that, have the skull from yeah, from that. That mug came with this little keychain. Look how cute this little keychain is. Yeah, I so was... it has a little pom pom and a little tassel. So this is Prima Design, and I don't want to spill my coffee, but I'm gonna try and look. Yeah, it's the same company. It is. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say I was like, there's a lawsuit on their hands if uh, if it are two different companies and they're not, you know. The reason, involved with one another. The reason why I asked if maybe they were the same is because the font and like the paint drops look very similar. Very similar. Same yeah. vibe. And then last but not least, I like peanuts. I love Charlie Brown and Snoopy is cute. And yeah, who loves a spooky Snoopy? And look at the inside, babe. Man, it's got Snoopy on the inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. You can't see. I have the worst like lighting right you, now. You could see it. It just had a reflection. Yeah, like anytime you show like mugs or whatever, at least when I try to film stuff, it's always like the biggest reflection. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the, there's two two more things from Marshalls that we're gonna share. This big thing. That big thing. This is another Raydon item. So it's. You think it's just plain? It's not but just it's plain. <gasps> Boo. This is for our dog food. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't know this yet, but I've decided to um, feed one of our dogs a different type of dog food. So we're gonna have two canisters now, and that's gonna be one of them. You told me that. Oh, I did tell him. Yes. I, yeah, you do. You, so I did tell him something. <laughs> Kelly has a hard time, like remembering whether she thinks something or she actually tells me something. Cause she kind of, they kind of run together for her. For sure. Yeah, where she's like, did I tell you about this? I know I thought it. Or I'll be like, have I said thank you yet? Because in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm so thankful. He is so amazing. I am so thankful. And then I never know if I actually You're say like, that. Did well. I thank you? Thank you. You're you like, did. yes, you, you did. did like three times already. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing for Marshalls, the mat. Where the ginormous you? doormat sitting next to you. This? Yes. Okay. Sorry. This is one of my hey, favorites. Hey, the giant snake that's about to bite you in the face. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. Can you see it? Yeah! How cute is this thing? Because I can't see it. $9.99 for that adorable trick-or-treater Halloween doormat. And as you can... Uh, actually, you probably can't see, but it's already made a home of our dog's hair. It has. So... Yeah, we haven't had it how long? I haven't even taken the tags off. Yeah. She loves <laughs> to sit on that thing, which is... Really weird because it's very scratchy. Yeah, Tilly, Tilly likes doing some weird stuff. She does. But she's a dog that's missing an eye and her tongue hangs out all the time, so I guess I can't what do you, what do you Yeah, expect? what do you expect? So this was for Kelly's B-Day. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that too in the background. Yes. Um, but Kelly's birthday is in June, and 
if you don't know anything about her, if this is the first time watching one of our videos, she is absolutely obsessed with Beetlejuice. And I got her a little tin Beetlejuice sign. Are you Sorry. showing off your guns? I was showing off my Lydia. Your, and Lydia, then I decided, your Lydia guns? I decided to take a moment to flex. There you go. And yeah, so I, I, I've bought you a good bit of Beetlejuice stuff since we've been together, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's still never enough. Like I still find stuff like this where I'm just like, that's still super cool. And I gotta get it for you. Yeah. I'm not complaining. I literally have some Beetlejuice stuff coming to the house. Yeah, we can. Op we could honestly open a Beetlejuice museum if we yeah. wanted to. I'm kind of like, ooh, this is a good moment for some feedback from you guys, the two people watching. Um, you <laughs> should vote whether or not I should do a Beetlejuice bathroom or a Beetlejuice office. So here's what I think. I want to do a Beetlejuice office because right now our office is purple. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it would kind of work. Yeah, My bathroom is pink and I don't really feel like painting it. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the office and like all Beetlejuice stuff. The whole thing. Well, you got to move my stuff out of there. Then. No, you can have the, the big shelf, but everything on the walls. Like, so he has a lot of oddities in the office that are on this like big display shelf and it looks really cool. So yeah. plug not to, touching that. Plug to, we do have an oddities video. Uh, yes. It, we last year we made an out of these collection check videos. So it. check it out. It's really good. Um, anyway, so I won't touch that. Don't worry. But maybe that'll be a future video is me decking the office out and all of the things that you've helped me collect of all Beetlejuice stuff. I think that would be really fun. I think it'd be fun too. Yeah, and Spirit Halloween. Check it out. I can't haul anything right now because it's on the way. But there's a, a lot of Beetlejuice merchandise that's <laughs> weird. Well, yeah. Well, I work hard for my money. Oh, I know. So I better treat you right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, so talk about the sign behind us. Yeah, so the sign behind us, the day's still Halloween. Um, well, Kelly made that right before we started recording this. Um, but I also bought that for her birthday. So on the way into our house, we have one of these, but mm -hmm. it's just more general, like it's just gray. And we usually just here and there, like put stupid stuff on it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, like like we'll put song lyrics or like- I'll Messages just, to each or other. Or messages to each other, it'd be like, yeah, like if one of us like has like a rough day or something, it'd be like, Hey, just remember I love you or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. And so, but I, I saw that online and honestly, I forget where it's from. I think Amazon. I, yeah, I was going to say the Beetlejuice sign I got from Amazon and this was also Amazon. Amazon is my go-to. Yeah, like, I was going to say. I don't really look f at like a, the, you know, Target, like Target's website or like major like stores websites. I'm just like, what's on Amazon or like kind of the smaller businesses like mm -hmm. Cavity Colors or Fright Rags, like they do like cool shirts and merchandise and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's that's my stuff. Okay, let's do Target next. Speaking of Target, I have a couple things from Target, not a ton. Um, because I was shopping online, first of all, Target takes forever to release their Halloween stuff, like from the, um, hide and eat boutique or whatever i'm pretty sure they don't release any of that until september so the okay. stuff that i got is from online and the way that online works is it's kind of like walmart where like you can they have different sellers that they like work with so like i just got this in the mail today this is i got this off of target's website but it did not come from target it came from big dot of happiness we're gonna have another halloween party this year and I thought this would be like a fun like little like entry game. They're little like scratch offs and there's one winner in this pack. So I might put together instead of a costume contest because that was a little difficult. Everyone's costumes at our party were like amazing, but it was so hard to pick. So I thought that this would be a really easy, simple game. You just get one when you come into the party, you scratch it off, see if you want and I'll just have like a little like Halloween prize. So I'm slowly but surely planning our party. I just decided like a maniac that I'm going to be making the invitations and mailing them out. 
So I'm gonna get a little crafty this weekend, I think, and maybe think so. maybe have Brett help me. But yes. to help with the mess, we have a jack o' lantern <laughs> tablecloth that I got from Target. So this will be. Um, you should be their advertiser for hide and eek. That's what I was trying <laughs> to go for. So I bet you this is from last year. Um, but this will be good for the table we're sitting at now. Mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to get a couple, but I just went with one. And then um, one more thing about the party, and then I'm done talking about it. Promise. This is our punch bowl, also from Target. It came with a ladle. Ooh. So I was telling Brett, I feel like I'm going to ask for his help to um, work with some dry ice and make a cool punch. Um, maybe alcoholic, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. The I kids will probably want to drink. I know, yeah, the kids so will. So, maybe If they we'll... see the, the kids see dry ice, they'll be like, I want some. Yeah, but how cool that would be, like, with the fog or steam coming out. I don't know how so. dry ice works. Like, if you drop dry ice into something that's wet, does it still have the, like, I... the smoke and mist or the vapor? We have some research to do. Yeah, and like, that's sure. why, because it's like, I know just dry ice by itself, it's like, it gives off, you know, the mist and everything, but mm -hmm. it's like, I'm, I'm stupid when it comes to these things, so. Just, you're not stupid, it's we like, just I haven't don't done it. Yeah. You're good. So, well, it's, it's going to be a exp uh, spooky experiment. Yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. And then I'm pretty sure this is from last year as well, which is why it was available to me so early, but I just picked up a garland. You can never have too much garland. But I'm gonna use this for my office. I want to make it um, spookified a little bit. And right now I have blue and white pom poms up on the wall because I love a good pom pom garland. But I'm gonna switch it out to this one. So I like you put it like up here. I know. Sorry. And you're like whoops. Here sorry. Okay. okay. Last thing from Target that's not really from Target. Here we go again. Is this sign? It is a. You want me to hold? Sure. It's a welcome sign. It has a little kickstand on the back. Um, I thought I bought it thinking it was for the outdoors. It's not. No, it's not um, for inside. Yeah, so we're going to use that. I think we're going to replace it with um, a sign that's a chalkboard sign that we usually write on, but it won't get erased. So we've had a Christmas quote on it since last Christmas. So I don't know what to do with that, but for now we're just going to replace it with this. So. Brett's having a lot of fun with this. Um, okay, I'm gonna finish up with... Uh, it's basically a stop sign in Halloween fashion mm -hmm. of saying trick or treaters stop here. And it's perfect for outside and... It lights up. Yeah, it lights up. But yeah, it's it's just one of those things. It's like, if this is lit up, like people will immediately know mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, like these, you know, if we're not, yeah. if we're not outside, they'll know immediately that it's like, oh yeah, they're participating and mm. you know, we, we get candy. Yeah. So if you flip it, it says out of candy and then parentheses, it says boo. <laughs> <laughs> so I love it. Um, for $40, I think it is a steal. I'm hoping it lasts forever. Um, I think it'll be a really cool piece to have, um, for years to come and what was the other thing I wanted to say about it? Oh, you had mentioned like if we're inside, they'll know that they can stop and ring the doorbell. Mm -hmm. Last year, it was so cold yeah. and we tried so hard. We set up a movie on a chair and we had all, we were all snuggled up in blankets and I was, was really, freezing. Yeah, it was just really cold. That's why we came inside. So that's Maryland for you. Sometimes October is scalding hot. Other times it's like winter. It's so. winter. Yeah. Cross your fingers. Yeah. If you live in Maryland, it's summer or winter. There's no in between. Pretty. You're right. You're you're pretty much right. Yeah. Like it'll be early October and it's still like 85 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. We interrupt your video because we have to make this into two parts. So this is the end of part one. So stay tuned for part two. But if you hold off a little bit, you may have both parts to watch at once. So binge it. Okay, bye.